Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and it's kind of quiet in here, which is good. This is a painting that I started down in Myrtle Beach uh, several weeks ago and never finished it. And I think it's very close to finish, but I need to put the final touches to it. Um, I like it. I think it's really good, but uh, it, it needs um, some interest, more interest somewhere to bring you in to say, look at it and say, wow, that's a great painting. So I'm going to give you a close up of it now, point out some things that I really like. Uh, right there in the middle, the, that pinkish purple color, I really like that. I think I want to bring that out. There's a little bit more down here, as you can see. And uh, the very textured piece. I think it's so close to being done. I want to bring some shapes out. There's some more of that pinkish purple color. That's what it looks like right now. And I think all it needs is some line work and maybe um, just something in the, uh, I'm thinking about making a focal area. Not sure where I want it, but I would want it either here or over here, which is the... Uh, areas that you want your focal area. Uh, I'm liking it. So that's what it looks like right now. So we'll see what it looks like when I'm finished. I don't think it's going to take me long to finish this piece. There's a lot of grays, a lot of neutrals. One thing I will say is that uh, I try to put neutrals in all my paintings. The neutrals is what uh, make the makes the color stand out more. Okay, I think this is as good as it's going to get. Um, you can see most of it all, all but about an inch at the top and about two inches at the bottom. But at the end, I will show you straight on and a close-up. So uh, I'm just looking at the lines now, and I think I want to do mostly line work and maybe some big shapes. So that's the plan. It's going to work. We don't know. But one nice thing is that this is so dry that um, if I don't like what I'm doing, all I have to do is, is uh, put some water on it and wipe it off. And I wanted to make, I'm making some warm grays and some cool grays. And with my warm grays, I'm using uh, Quinn Magenta, black and white. And my cool grays, I'm using... Uh, deoxine purple, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And it is acrylic. I don't know if you can see that. There's a line that starts right here, comes across, goes over to here. It kind of connects this to that. And then it comes down, and I can connect it this way, back down over that way. And I think that's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm just going to emphasize that line a little bit, and I'm just going going to use uh, some paint, and if I don't like it, I'll wipe it off. I'm using a little brush, as you can see. What I'm doing, you probably aren't going to see too much of it. I just want to emphasize some of these lines coming up. I'm thinking I like this one more than the other one. Now I'm not going to cover in all, all of it because I want you to be able to come through. I don't want it to block this from that. I want you to be able to come through the line.
want to emphasize some of it, not all of it. And I'm, I, I have combined the purple and the black. It's not totally black, it's not ter totally purple. And again, I don't want to keep you from coming through. There's a space here, and there's also a space there. So I do like that. I'm emphasize some of these other lines. right here I want to emphasize Can you see how your eye will start up here and it just swoops you around takes you right back in again Here's another interesting shape. So what I do at the end, I bring out shapes. I'll put them down and then wipe them off so they just are barely there. Here's another one. Just a little bit. Just bringing some light into the piece. Okay. Now I'm going to try something if I don't like it immediately come off. Don't like that. I think that just needs to be a little bit darker. I don't have big shapes or I don't know what color I want. Let's go with gray. If I don't like this, I'm going to wipe it off. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, it's not bad. I like that. 
little bit of more color into it. Um, I will be in tonight, too. Oh, you will? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to finish. That's gorgeous. Mom. Does this look all right, like what mm -hmm. I just did? Yep. Now you have two. You should do one more on the other side. Yeah, I have to do something over there. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I think right here I'm I am going to be just like stuff. you when I grow up. Huh. All right. Sure, you can be home cooking today. I made collard greens yesterday. So I figured they'll be well, Why good. do you have more greens here? Are you making more? Yeah, I didn't have enough. And you had to make them this year, not me. Yeah. That's one nice thing. I'm I don't have to cook add, anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna add those to the pot. I want to show you the first. Good morning. How about this? <laughs> Hi y'all. <laughs> Put your head up here again so they can see what you look like. <laughs> no, you do not have it too high. You know what, I'll take it and if, it, if we don't hang it, I'll bring it back to you. Let me bring it back. trying to put some light into it. A lot of it is the same, if you squint, a lot of it is the same value and I want to change that. Greenish yellow color, by the way, is is uh, Indian yellow. Let's see if I can find that again, and uh, with some black in it, which made it uh, olive green. I think I want to put some of that into it.
I just did this, guys. <laughs> and was standing in front of it. This is my daughter who's critiquing for me as I'm painting. Um, all right, I'll see you later today. Well, maybe not, but I'll be here. Bye. See ya. Have fun. Oh, yeah. I really like what I just did. See what happens when you just, you give up the idea that you have to make it perfect. You're just going in and having fun and putting it down without thinking. It always works better. I'm looking at this and seeing this is all on one side don't have any of that over there. I do have a little bit of it here. I'm just going to emphasize this just a little bit more. And that will balance out some of this stuff. I think I need some right here. going up into here. Let's try it. If you don't like it, I'll wipe it off. Yeah, that's, that's just a hint of it right there. And that works. Looking at it and thinking, I don't have it dark enough in some areas. Yep, -er. Just wanted to put some of that magenta in some of these areas. Okay. Still just too bright right there. I'm going to stand back and look at it. Actually, it needs some white. I, don't know if I like that. So, we're very slow in here today, I think because Everybody's getting ready for the holiday. Yeah, it's like early out at work. Everybody's gearing up. I was over at the farmer's market to pick up stuff, and they told me to come back for some things. So I was like, oh, oh, I know exactly how to spend my time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping. Absolutely. I'm glad to see that you're open. Yeah. You I, betcha. Are you going to be here on Saturday also? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll have my whole family. Then. Oh, great. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. I'm using a thinner brush now because I don't want all my brush lines to be the same width.
That is magenta. A lot of white. I like that. too much. The reason why I'm working on this, can you see this as a circle? Circle, a very small circle. And then I put that there even though it's not there. It wasn't there. I gave you the uh, illusion of it being there. And that way it's going across. Now I'm going to turn it upside down and see what it looks like. The other way. Probably won't look good, but we'll see. Here it is sideways. You probably can't see it that way. And you know that looks pretty good. I like it that way. And here it is this way like it that way except we need something right here there is a shape right there Let's see if I can emphasize that it's here you know what undecided so far. 
turn it back around. Nope. The, if the circle, if that big circle is going to stay there, it has to be the other way. So let me evaluate it this way. There we go. I do that, I have to make this one less dominant less noticeable. What do I want to do? Like that. I don't want you to see, think that this was the last thing that I put on. That's why I'm putting some paint on top of it. So it doesn't look like the last thing I did. using now is raw sienna. I'm starting to overwork this. I actually started overworking it a long time ago. So, but I think I'm going to quit for now because I am happy with it. I'm happier. Let me put it that way. You can see how this is bringing you across. These yellow marks are bringing you across. This line is bringing you across. These lines are bringing you across. I'm going to give you, I don't know if I've overworked it or not, but I will find out. But I'm going to give you a close-up, and I'm also going to give you um, a photo. And by the way, I just wanted, I, I don't know if all, uh, if all of you know that I do teach workshops. I teach them here in Harrisburg, and I have two uh, uh, large acrylic abstract workshops coming up in the uh, winter and spring and I have two cold wax workshops. They're both three full days and um, I would love for you to um, sign up. Come to Harrisburg. Harrisburg is a really nice town and um, uh, you can go on to my website which is uh, www lindabentonmccloskey.com and then go into workshops and it gives you all the information, the cost, your supply list, everything. And then if you want to register, you uh, go on, uh, there's information how you can register at Millwork. So I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm going to be going to my daughter's in uh, 
uh, southern Lancaster County, and uh, we're going to have lots of fun with family. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Love you. Okay. Here's a close-up of it. I have changed it a little bit. Not much. I added a little bit more raw sienna to it. Uh, where the white was going across under the big circle up at the right hand corner I took there was white coming across and I changed that to raw sienna uh, glaze so and I changed it just a tiny little bit at the bottom left hand corner where I thought that that was too dark in that one shape I changed that a little bit down in the bottom left hand corner so this is what she looks like now. I'm happy with it. Oh, what a surprise. Here's some close-ups. Love it. There's my big circle that I put in at the end. And I added some more raw sienna here and there. brought my purple line across at the bottom there to bring your eye across at the bottom added I put uh, yellow close to my purples because uh, yellow is the complement to the purples and it really brought out a lot of the purple. So I'll step back again. I'm very happy with it now. And I want to thank you guys for your patience and I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving.